Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins discussion video. This is going to be previewing this series with the Yankees that we are starting today. It is Friday, May 3rd. This will go until the 5th of May on Sunday. It's a big series. I mean, we just take, we just took the series from Houston and we know how important that one was. But now, it's a different monster. I mean, we're going to Yankee Stadium. Obviously, we struggled a little bit when we were in Houston, but we're going to Yankee Stadium now. It's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but the only thing is, they're not full strength. We've been playing hot. You know, it's going to be it's going to be tough, but if we can take two of the three, that'd be fantastic. So, this is the one I'm most nervous about. It's the first game tonight. It's against James Paxton, who is He's not their ace because they have Luis Severino and CeCe Sabathia, even though he's not really what he used to be, but he's still good, right? He's CeCe Sabathia. But James Paxton, I mean, he was Seattle's ace the last couple of years, presumably, I guess. I don't know if Felix uh, was really their ace, but he's been really good. And, like, let's just look at his totals. He is 3-2 and two with a 3.38 ERA, 51 strikeouts, a whip of 1.15. That's not bad. It's below his career average, so he's playing better than he normally has been, and he's he's done really well this year. Um, let's look at his splits uh, at home and away. He's .46 ERA at home with one win, one loss. In 20 innings pitched, he's only allowed one earned run, struck out 29, and walked three. Away, it's way different. 7.2 ERA with a 2-1 record. 15 innings pitch allowed 12 earned runs, 7 walks on 22 strikeouts. So, he's playing in Yankee Stadium at home. That's going to be tough. Look at his lefty versus righty splits. 278 average, 15 strikeouts versus lefties, and a 215 average with 36 strikeouts versus righties. So, it's a reverse split, um, which is really interesting to see because the Twins, you know, versus Verlander specifically, and even... Uh, Garrett Cole, they put out the most lefty lineup heavy that you could have. The left, the heaviest lefty lineup uh, that the Twins had. And now you look at James Paxton, who's a lefty, and you you look at the splits and you're like, huh, lefties are batting better, but the way the ball moves, are you going to put righties out there? I have not seen the lineup yet. Um, by the time of this recording, it has not been released. This is going to be interesting. I would have thought um, that, you know, usually for the first game of the series, uh, Baldelli does something kind of weird. Either he puts out an all-lefty lineup or he puts out some guys who maybe need some rest. It's really interesting to see because usually um, you would expect that maybe at the end of the series, but it looks like, I don't want to say give it away, but... It looks like what Baldelli's trying to do is flip it. Let's rest our guys at the beginning of the series so when they rest their guys at the end of the series, we can take that win, they take this win, let's have a rubber match in the middle instead of the end. It's an interesting strategy, but it's been working so far. Especially, I mean, look at that Verlander game. You put Andreanza out there and he was the star. That That's how baseball works sometimes. Um, the only thing I'm struggling with a little bit and it's really interesting because of the splits. Paxton is a lefty starter. The only lefty other the only other lefty starter we saw was Wade Miley. We hit a three run home run off of him um, in the first inning in Houston, and then we struggled. I don't want to see that again today. But with the reverse splits, it's really going to be interesting. Uh, the last thing I want to look at is at Yankee Stadium. Like I said, a four point uh, a zero point four six ERA. I mean, he's only pitched 20 innings, but that's where he's pitched the most. So, I know he feels comfortable in uh, Yankee Stadium, but the Twins have been super hot on the road. That's the thing. It's it's This is going to be a really good matchup because the Twins, they've gotten, I mean, in Baltimore, granted, it's Baltimore, but even in Houston, when they were scoring in the first inning and really getting out front, being aggressive, they were really good on the road. On the... You know, at Target Field, granted, they're still good. They won the games at Target Field, but they started a little bit slower. They usually scored in the first three innings, but it wasn't always the first three batters. 
or they'd score in the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, the middle three innings. So this is going to be one of the biggest matchups, I think, today. We are pitching Gibson. So that's going to be interesting because, you know, Gibson is coming off of a pretty good game last time. What, did he throw seven innings, I think, as well? So he's thrown seven innings. Paxton has been good lately. He struggled at the beginning of the year. He's been getting hot. Gibson's been getting hot. I mean, if you look at Gibson's... Uh, Pitching stats so far, 2-0, 4.48 ERA, 24 strikeouts, a whip of 1.23. So they might not match up on paper, but they really look good. Um, and I mean, especially especially from what Gibson has done in the last two times he's been out uh, with six innings pitched and seven innings pitched. I mean, they were both on the road too. That's the thing. They were both on the road. Um, right? Hold on. Did I read that correctly? Nope, just kidding. Baltimore was at home. But the other Baltimore where he pitched six innings was on the road. And that was really good. It was Baltimore. But think about this. He's been good lately. I expect him to continue. Same with Oda Rizzi. Let's look at tomorrow's matchup. It's uh, Oda Rizzi versus J.A. Happ. Happ has been not as good of a lefty. It's more of a Wade Miley kind of guy. Six point... Uh, or 4.68 ERA with a 1-2 record, 24 strikeouts, 1.26 whip. So another thing that kind of concerns me, you're going from Paxton, who does have reverse splits, but you're going from Paxton to Hap. They're both lefties, but they're both very different lefties. One guy's a hard-throwing lefty, the other guy uses a lot of his curveball. Paxton still uses a lot of his curveball, but A.J. Hap, or J.A. Hap, excuse me, is really good at locating pitches, and he doesn't throw as hard as Paxton. Look at his splits. Uh, oh, shoot, I pressed the wrong button. Let me go to his splits here. At home, he has an 8.16 ERA, 0 and 2, uh, with 14 innings pitched, 12 strikeouts, 4 walks. The average is .328. Away, he is an under 2 ERA in his three games that he started, 18 innings pitched, 12 strikeouts, 4 walks, a one point or a nine, the a point one nine four ERA. So he is a, I'm like I said, it's night and day with these two guys. Hap is way better on the road. Paxton's way better at home. And then you've got Oda Rizzi, who has been lights out as well. This is it's another great matchup. Not again on paper, but how they've been doing recently, and the two teams where they're playing, when they're playing. It's going to be a great game. So this is my prediction for the first two games. I think Paxton will beat us tonight. And I think the only reason we're going to do that, or he's going to beat us tonight, is because of the lineup I think we're going to put out there. I don't know if, if Baldelli's looking at the same stuff I am. I hope he is. But with the reverse splits, I think he's not going to play Kepler. He is not going to play um, Castro. I think he's going to put Garver out there. Um... I guess if he doesn't play K or uh, the if he doesn't play Kepler, he'll probably play Cave, which is still a lefty since Osadillo's hurt. But I think to keep Kepler off the like off the field tonight would be a mistake. I do think we're gonna lose that game though, uh, because I think that's what he's gonna do is he's gonna rest Kepler, he's gonna rest one other guy, not sure who it could be, uh, and put like Andrianza in there, um, Cave in there, Garver in there. And it'll just mix up the lineup enough where we just won't get it against Paxton with the reverse splits. However, I think tomorrow, Odorizzi's... I, Gibson's going to pitch a good game. It's going to be a low-scoring game. But I think uh, Paxton will um, get the victory. Then in Odorizzi's matchup, I think he wins. I think we get to half early um, like we did Miley. They're very comparable. And this time we hang on because Odorizzi's been super good. And let's talk about the last matchup really quickly. I'm not going to cover this one too much. I don't know what's going to happen about this one. I think we're going to take two of the three, but Pineda's also pitching. I don't know. because like, Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments because Pineda has really struggled. We know that. His record is 2-2 two two with a 6.21 ERA, 22 strike, has a whip of 1.5, and this is what I want to see from this. This is what I want to see. He's In his last three starts, we have lost, and two of them... We've lost badly to, to Houston. Now, granted, that's not necessarily our fault, but the last two times, we have, we've gotten blown out by Houston. And 
He kept us in that first one, but the second one just totally gave it away in the fifth inning. I mean, he struggled in the fifth inning again against Houston before that. Here's the thing. I think we can win this game if we put out, like, a, an opener. I think Pineda needs to be an opener. If you looked at the splits during Houston and when he was on, he was so good in the first inning, the first time through the lineup, decent through the second part, absolutely garbage. About the fifth inning when they got to the third time through the lineup. We need to use an opener for this guy. Pineda, he's facing his old team. I think that's going to give the Yankees an advantage because they've already know how they they already know how he pitches. They know where he pitches. They know they've seen him. He was on their team. So, that's going to be another added barrier. If we start the opener on Sunday versus the Yankees, I don't know how many games we play after the Yankees. I think it's four more do we go to I think we go to Toronto for four more after this but we need to use the opener with Panetta I think that's the only way we can win this game I think we can I easily think this is a winnable game if we use the opener I'm guessing the well the Yankees are hurt still but I get I'm thinking they'll rest some guys on Sunday and we'll rested guys on Friday take the loss against Paxton to come out and try to win this game if we use the opener with Panetta, give him one time through the lineup, give another guy one time through the lineup, I think May would be good, but since he pitched yesterday, or yesterday, two days ago, whenever he pitched last, I don't know if we'll use him. I would really like to use Panetta, Perez, and then bullpen. That's obviously not going to happen, but if we can use Panetta for the first time through the lineup, get him out of there. I don't care how many pitches he's at. I don't care, you know, what the score is. If it's 10 to nothing, maybe keep him in, but if it's like 3 to 2, Take Pineda out after the first time he's seen everybody. Put somebody else in. Use a bullpen for a day. We have been so good with pitching the last couple of days. Everybody should be rested. It's a big series. We need to win. If we can just put Pineda out there for three innings, put somebody else out there for three innings, and then let them go for the bullpen. I think that's a very winnable game. I want to know what you guys think about that strategy. I know I didn't talk about Germon. Um, Germon. Uh, a lot. I'll just run through them really quickly. 2.6 ERA. Um, it looks like he's a closer. Is that right? Is there? Are they going with an opener that day? He's got 32 strikeouts, a .08 uh, or .85 WHIP. Um, he's been good at Yankee Stadium, a two ERA. I think we can still beat him, though. I think it's. I think it's not so much Guillermoon. It's our offense that will come out that day. Um, it's just going to rely on how much Pineda is going to give up and how long we'll use him. But that's what I think is going to happen. I think if we if we keep Pineda out there, I think we lose. I honestly do. And we take one game of the three. But if we can keep Pineda to three innings and then put somebody else out there for three, finish with the bullpen, I think we can easily win that game. And then Odorizzi is going to pitch good. Gibson, I think he'll pitch fine. I just think Hap, with the lineup that I think we're going to put out there, might just struggle a little bit. But I think two of three would be a goal. We're going to take one of the three for sure. So that's all I got for you today. I know it was a little bit longer of a video. I apologize, but there was a lot to talk about. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, what you guys think we're going to do with the Pineda game. That's the biggest game in the series, I think. Um, and then, yeah, we go to Toronto for three. That's my bad. Toronto for three. Um, but I think it's winnable. I think they're, those are winnable games. And we can do that. So that's all I got for you today. I'm sorry for the long video again, but it was a lot to talk about. Good stuff. So that's all I got for you today. Come back tomorrow for tonight for the game review, and we'll see you then.